Oliver King was fighting fit and a talented footballer, but he had an undetected heart defect and died suddenly, aged just 12. A dozen children die weekly in similar cases, something Oliver's dad is campaigning to stop. He was in a swimming lesson in school and it's hard to switch off. And I believe that if there was a defibrillator at poolside, Oliver would be with me today. Apply pad to bare skin. Oliver's dad, Mark, wants the government to pay for defibrillators in schools, a request that's so far been refused. Today, he and other volunteers are taking to the streets for 12 hours to collect enough signatures to spark a debate in Parliament. 16 defibrillators are installed in Parliament, which tells me that actually they recognise how important they are, which I appreciate. But if it's important for them in the House of Commons, why is it not important for our schools and our sports centres? From 9 o'clock this morning to 9 o'clock at night, these volunteers are walking the streets of Liverpool to try and get the 50,000 signatures they desperately need. We won't give in. I mean, during this short time with me, Oliver never give in on anything that he sets out to do. And I won't give up on him now. I think it's vital that people should be signing these things to get these things in all. Um, the public places. They do need them, don't they? But I think it's a disgrace the way they're getting them in their own places, like the House of Commons, and you know, you can't give it to all these people. I think it's important, and I think every child deserves it, and I'm all for it. Campaigners have until the beginning of next month to get 100,000 signatures for Oliver's campaign. Sarah Rogers, Granada News, Liverpool.